Hello, my name is Jane Francis and I am Cabinet Member for Education, Skills and Culture at Birmingham City Council. It's Clean Air Day and I'm really, really pleased to be at St Thomas's Nursery School, um, close to, very close to Birmingham City Centre, we're right next door to Ladywood Middleway, so you'll probably hear some traffic noise. I'm very pleased to be joined this morning by uh, the Executive Head Teacher. Mandy Cryan to talk about the impact that air pollution has on the city and the school and its children. So Mandy, really, really pleased to meet you. So St Thomas's is in the heart of the clean air zone. What's its impact on, on you as a school and more importantly the children? Right, for a start off, we're as you, as you just said, we're very, very close to Ladywood Middle Way and children's lungs at this age are beginning to develop. They're very small and actually pollution can have a, 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 a massive impact, more so than on adults, on their lung development. And um, also asthma uh, and their height is right at the level of exhaust fumes. So if you think about the children being that high or in a buggy, it's all at exhaust fume level. As a city, as a city council, we have to do something to address the very, very difficult issue of um, toxic air in our city. And obviously we're more concerned uh, than ever about the impact on our children and our children's lives and on our children's health. Mandy, um, can, can you share with us some examples of how you think um, pollution and traffic in cars has on the school and its children? Uh, as you can hear, we're very, very close to Ladywood Middle Bay. And uh, I can give you an example of a child we had here last year who uh, would always cough when going to stop with grandparents in the rural area. Uh, and that would be down to her lungs clearing. And it was for about three days and then she'd be totally fine. And that child has since transferred to a reception in a more rural area than we are and no longer coughs. So I, I think you can say it was a direct impact of being close to uh, uh, the middle way and the pollution. Uh, I think I want that for all our children, uh, that they have clean air to breathe and because their lungs are developing, they've got smaller lungs and it's really important that this stage of development that their lungs are healthy for their adult life. It's really, really good to hear um, children's voices in the background. We're here at the school at lunchtime and children are out in the playground. Obviously, given the proximity to Ladywood Middle Way, um, do you worry in particular about how close you are to the main road? And can I ask what, generally, are, are you, do you think the clean air zone is a good thing? I think the clean air zone is a good thing for the children and the community uh, uh, that are within the clean air zone, I think it's a definite plus. Uh, and for us here, obviously, uh, it would be a great benefit because we have so many children from six months old right up until they're four going on five. Thank you so much to Mandy and, and St Thomas's Nursery School for inviting us here today. There is absolutely no doubt in my mind that we have to do something about the toxic levels of pollution in our city. The clean air zone is, is there to improve people's lives and in particular to improve the lives of children and to reduce some of those health inequalities that we have in our city. Can I thank Mandy again very, very much for inviting us here. Thank you.